Hi everybody, this is Andy from Snowy Pines Ridge. I've had a lot of questions regarding the current status of the aquaponics greenhouse. Uh, it's been running for about three years now. Um, really, it's pretty much works all on its own. Uh, last couple of years, it pretty much gets shut down in the winter time. Uh, we're hoping to change that this year with a rocket stove build here in October. Anyway, here's the hot tub. Uh, as notice, I really don't need a whole lot of uh, any kind of filters or anything. The rock medium does it all. Not a whole lot of fish in there right now, but you know, as you can see, the algae growth is pretty much to a minimum. These uh, insulation boards here that we put up, that really helps block out the sunlight, which creates a lot of the algae growth. Um, anyhow, so a lot of people use these filters and all this other stuff. For me, the rock medium works just fine. Currently, the air, outside air temperature is like in the 40s. Eh, it might be 60 in here. It's not super warm, but we've got a lot of vent drafts. Um, anyway, I've got a couple of things growing here. I've got some huckleberry plants that I purchased. They're grown from seed, and I'm really hoping to get those going so we can grow huckleberries on the property. You can hear the pump running. Anyway, we have an excellent crop of mint going. The mint really loves the aquaponic system. Um, the tomatoes, on the other hand, they're not too happy. Uh, but that's okay. I've got a ton of tomatoes out in the garden. Anyway, there's some wool that we use for the garden. And as you can see, this is the main reason we got a lot of le air leaks and coldness in the greenhouse. Uh, snow loads and everything else. So the PVC greenhouse I'm not very impressed with. It was cheap. It was a hundred bucks. It was used. It worked great. It's time to change it. I'm hoping to do that here in June or uh, October. Anyway, there were some questions on the sump pump. Sump pump, it pretty much works on a float switch. The float switch, you know, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. It floats up, it kicks the pump on. Uh, that's the only electric thing in the entire system. Other than that, the grow beds are working fine. There's no leaks that I know of. Um, that's about it. Some of this stuff we've never really planted, like the wonderberries here. They they just keep growing. <laughs> they seed themselves. And then, of course, the blackberries. They kind of overtook the place, but that's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.